Hey guys, Aaron here. This is my 2003 Boxster 986 and the front trunk would not close properly. So I'm going to show you the troubleshooting steps that I took and how I fixed it. First step is we just have to remove this plastic cover that's blocking everything. It's got it's supposed to have four of these uh, little plastic bits that are holding this on and you can just use a flathead screwdriver and you're going to rotate them so that that is facing in this direction as you can see from here so that they can come out so just all three of them rotate and then that piece should come out all right, you can just lift it out you can see that these the little teeth on it just lock it in place and then that's it you can just gently um, pry this piece off usually just reach in with your hand and grab it lift it out and then once it's completely loose if it's really old these things are brittle and might disintegrate on you a little bit uh, but when you get it out you just slip it over this part and then we can see down here to the mechanism. Now this right here is the part that usually fails that has the uh, motor on it. It's tucked in back here. So we will get to this to remove it. But in order to remove this part, you can see there's this little metal tab that is over it. Some people bend that. Don't do that. That's not the right way to do it. This is attached to this uh, plate that is held on by those two screws. You can see one of them right here and there's another one over here. They are right back here. So we just have to pull some of this trim out of the way to access them. All right, so here's my new part and I just need to get to the back of this. So I'm just going to uh, lift up the rubber here and we're just gonna open this up so we can get to those two uh, 10 millimeters right back here. All right, so I do not have to remove them. I just need to loosen them. All right, so just loosen each one a little bit. Loosely. All right, so once you loosen them, you should be able to slide this plate straight up. Well, on the other models I had seen, at least, that just slides right up once you loosen it. It's not seem to be doing that for me. Ah, okay. All right, so it is just stuck. You just have to uh, give it a little bit of force, probably. But you can see these are the slots that uh, fit onto those bolts. All right, so here is the mechanism. This little piece goes into that slot, and when you pull the little lever in the car, it's supposed to retract that so that it pulls that open to detach your trunk. So let me pull the lever, see what it does. Yeah, okay, well that's interesting. So it looks like this piece is not the problem. It is still active and trying to open the mechanism. So I guess it, uh, the mechanism down here is the issue. So gonna go ahead and remove it. So before I do too much, uh, I'm gonna experiment with this. I'm just gonna remove these two 10 millimeter bolts to take the latch off of the hood. So this is just gonna let me uh, play around with this without the threat of it locking the hood permanently. So I just wanna see what it's doing here. Alright, well it latched and locked it into place. That's what I couldn't get it to do before. So when you release it, then you just have this red piece in the way and yeah, it's coming out now. So maybe this was just poorly adjusted. Maybe when I loosened and moved this mechanism around, that would fix it. I don't know. We can experiment. Um, while we're down here, you can see this cable 
right there is your emergency release. And you can actually see it run up right here by your headlight. Uh, and then it goes down under your uh, wheel well, I believe, so that if your electronic thing ever does fail, you can pull that and that will release your hood. Okay, so with everything reattached again, let me lower this and see if it will. Still won't go down far enough to latch in there. Looks like this mechanism needs to come up a little higher. I got these two bolts loosened and I'm pulling the mechanism up as high as it goes. And then I'll tighten them. Try that. Aha! Success! All right. And the release works. Okay. Well, that was a cheap, easy fix. So again, what I did is I loosened the two 10 millimeters that are back here behind it. I just pulled this mechanism up a little bit higher so that it would uh, be closer to the latch that comes down into it, and it locked just fine. So I'm gonna loosen those bolts up one more time, stick this piece back down there, tighten them up, and we should be good to go. While we're in here, just to show you guys, if we did need to replace this cable, if you pull that and nothing is happening, uh, you just slide this piece up you slide this piece up and then there is this little rubber grommet that you pull it through this side and this piece runs right back here and, and there's a piece of foam with a rubber band around it that's glued onto the end you just take that foam off you put it onto your new piece and you wedge it right back there in the same spot and there is like a little um electrical connection you just unplug plug it back into your new one Stick it right back in there and you're good to go. Hope that was helpful guys. Uh, I try to provide you lots of cool Boxster content on the channel. Please make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and check out all the other stuff on the channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.